Okay, right here we have a couple cars. We have a few cars here. Right here we obviously have the Cybertruck, Ford F-150, a Jeep, and a Hummer. Now our plan for today, let's do a good night little off extreme off-road testing is what we're going to be doing for today. We have, well, all these cars are mainly meant for off-roading. Um, the Jeep and Hummer are probably the best. I googled this, the best car for off-roading, the Jeep. The Wrangler was nominated for the best off-roader, the best, or, I don't know. And then we obviously, have, we obviously have the Hummer from the Hummer vs. Jeep video, which did really good in the off-road test. So we're going to take it up to the extreme. Our plan here is to take these four cars up this massive little, or this, not really little, but this pretty big mountain here. Then we're gonna, going to be testing their um, turning ability, if I can fly over here real quick. We're going to test their turning ability on this little track thing here. So we're going to probably start like around here. I'm just going to go up and see who does the best. And then we're going to be doing the steepest hill thing ever, which is mo a more extreme version of what we're doing before by going up this area. It's going to be quite a lot, but... You know, that's how it's supposed to go. But let's let's get the king of off-roading in my videos. The Hummer. Let's get the Hummer out. And um see how this goes. Um also, um leave a comment down below who do you think is gonna win and leave a like if you um like Burke Riggs. You know, it's fun. Alright, let's get let's just get this over. Let's get the Hummer up here. Alright, let's see how the Hummer does. This thing has done really good in off-road tests. My game is lagging for some reason. Up it goes. This is, I mean, the only thing that I had done to cars, I literally just raised the suspension on the Cybertruck. Because the, cy the base Cybertruck that is on the workshop, if you want to check it out, if you want to see it. Oh god, I shouldn't have lit up the gas. Um, the base one is super low to the ground, definitely not meant for off-roading. So I had to raise it. Um, but, that's, that's fine. It'll work. Doesn't matter. Sort of. Yeah, this Hummer does not have much interior. It does look, the outside though looks really good. And we're also completely destroying this mountain right now in this Hummer. This, dude, if it's doing this good in the, in this, like, in this, it's gonna do really good in the, it might do pretty good in the extreme, which is very steep. And as you can see, we made it. To the road. How did it do it? I have no idea. Let's pop up in the... Thing. Yeah, we'll... This is pretty... Because these are two of the best off-road... This is, in real life, one of the best and most... The best off-roader, I guess. Or... I get. I don't know. Most popular off-roading car. Versus the best off-roading car my, I've tested, sort of. And then we have the obviously the obvious fight. Hummer vs. Ford, or Cybertruck vs. Ford. These are just two little add-ons to make the video longer, because two cars, three challenges, maybe four. Ooh, ain't gonna be a lot. Actually, it's probably a good idea to make it shorter. Because then, you could watch the entire video, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do two videos. We'll see how that goes. So far, the Jeep, okay, is it really this easy? Or is it just because these are two, like, off-road SUVs? It might just be because they're all SUVs meant for off-roading-ish. Or have, like, the perfect suspension for it. I don't know. Kind of depends. But we are doing a wonder... This is a jumper! I must... Oh, oh no! It took damage! To the rim! That doesn't change anything. Hello, Hummer. How's your life? Wow. Took damage to the rims. That's a, that's something. One sec. Let's go. As you can tell, we don't hear it. That's because I have an, a motor in it. Oh, it's in God mode. That's oh no. And there goes the bumper. It's already breaking. Like this. If you're gonna off road on this thing, maybe we'll make the tires bigger or just raise the suspension beyond belief. Okay. If you know brick rigs and you know the suspension stuff, this is set to 0 0.4. The base height that it was at was 0 
which I would say is at entry level for Cybertruck ride height stuff. Maybe low if you want to go that far, but I mean, this is that's high. 0 0.4, I believe that's high. I don't know. At least it sounds like it. And wow, it it literally all it lost was that bumper in the back. So far, so far, so far, three cars have taken like two of them have taken like minimal damage. One, the jeep, um, the jeep had. A jack the brim, the rim kind of fell apart. The Hummer just tanked. Oh no, there goes the bumper. It's starting to go now. It's getting steep. But look at that. It's fine. It is fine. Oh yeah, I had them. This is actually a custom Ford that I made. I made it off a base F-150. The 2024 Ford F-150 was the base one. Turn into the Raptor. Um, Leave a like if you like this. Because I sure do. I do really like this Ford. The Jeep, so the Jeep lost, took some damage to the rim. The Hummer smoked all these cars. The Cybertruck took a bit of damage to the bumper, but that was actually not that bad. And the Ford probably is going to kill it. I did do this video once. I tried doing this video with custom off-roaded vehicles. Um, If you saw, you might have saw it. it w I only had it for a split second. Because it had no talking. And it was supposed to have talking. That's when I was dealing with issues with NVIDIA. And now we use Streamlabs. Shout out Streamlabs. Awesome. Oh my god. This car is on god mode. I've not seen a piece fall off this car. What the heck, man? This is crazy. Oh, there it is. Hey, these rims. This is the only car with not detailed rims. This is with base vehicle rims. Or car rims. Look at that. I don't see much. Oh, no, I see what came off. Well, that appears, it appears to be the Hummer's the best. Hummer, Hummer smoked it. That is wild. <laughs> okay, right here we have all these cars lined up. Now, I got rid of the Jeep to for it to be against the most maneuverable car I think I own, or I've seen, that is on the workshop. I have one other one that isn't on the workshop that I've thought about putting on the workshop, but I'm not. Anyway, this is the my Lamborghini Huracan Storado. This thing is super maneuverable, and if you ever do a rally video, if you ever do rally and brick rigs, use this. This is the best car for rallying right here. This is perfect. Um, we still are gonna keep the Hummer through this because this thing has so far been a king. We obviously have two trucks here, but so our plan is to pretty much just see. Who can get up this without dying or flipping over? Which, a wider base means that won't happen. And camber. Which, this doesn't have camber or isn't super wide, sort of, but I've tried. Um, I might be wrong in the maneuverability. We'll find out, though. Let's hop in the strata and see what it's supposed to look like. Maybe. But this is, this thing's super fast. Because it's a Lamborghini. And also likes to drift. Because it's a Lamborghini. Lamborghini ever made. I know, surprising. Because Lamborghini... Oh, okay. Hey, it hasn't flipped over. This main test is flipping over. That's the main test. So, I think all these cars are going to pass. To be honest. Maybe not the Cybertruck. The rear wheel steering definitely flips it. I've, I've flipped over on the Cybertruck while steering too hard. Because rear wheel steering isn't good for super harsh turns. This thing has so far been killing it. It's taken damage, but that's not the point! Does that count? Oh, it's gone. Mmm. I mean, the main test is flipping over, but like... Yeah, this might not be the best car. From I mean, it's not bad, for sure. Like, you can drift this. And it's a rally-ish vehicle, as I completely destroy the front bumper again. It's, so I think the Strato is meant to be like a rally car kind of thing. Which, I could see it being... Uh, oh, okay, well, they handled that very well. We're good. We're doing great. Oh my god, the rims exploded. I think the rims have just exploded. Uh, accelerate! No, no! It's still maneuverable! We still didn't flip over. 
Okay, well, the Strato might not be the best car for maneuverability. Kind of hard to tell. About to complete this, though. We're about to finish. Look at the. Oh, no, we're drifting. We're drifting. We're drifting. I just. The rim exploded again. The rims are gonna freaking break. We're done. We got this. Yeah. Look at that. We did it. Strato did. And died. So. The Storado might have died, but that doesn't matter. Let's go to the Hummer. Let's see how this big tank of a car can do it. The king of so far kings. This thing is for real though. It has been murder. It's taken out the competition. It did great. If you didn't watch the Jeep and a uh, Hummer video, this thing pretty much beat every single test I put it in. It survived the off-road test. Oh no! Oh, it got up! It's destroyed! Oh, oh no! It's not a tank! Uh oh. So, Strato was maneuverable. Okay. <laughs> so, it was maneuverable. Because it's low to the ground. Oh! So, that's a thing. So that's probably what. This is. So, no. The cars are all going to suck because they're all trucks and SUVs. And they can't handle. Or misjuice. They can't handle um wide turns because they're so tall. This isn't really an, ex an extreme off-road test, but this is a test. This is an extreme test. That leave a like, like subscribe because I will probably do the most extreme test I've ever done with three cars. Oh, so first reset of the time, and we're only here. But I will be. Pl I might do an extreme test F one fifty versus Cybertruck, where I put it through tons of off roading challenges, tons of durability challenges, and probably. Well, we already did towing and hauling, so some other stuff maybe. <laughs> but if maybe it's as good as it is in brick rigs, because this is brick rigs now, Demon G or real life. This isn't. Just sitting at a computer driving a car made out of Lego. Sort of. Slam the wall! Well, we're just gonna climb back up because we have the ability to. Never mind, we don't. It flipped over again! I told you this thing was a tank! This thing just can't fly and land on its head. It just can't. I don't know why, but it can't. All right, shift at the fourth gear. We gotta get let's speed this up here. So we just spun out, um, and flipped over. So yeah, the Hummer is definitely not the winner of this one. It is not very maneuverable, as we can all tell. Luckily, we have two turns. Maybe one turn left, hopefully. This is very long and boring in a certain way. It's also very slow. To the top speed of 108, that's kind of sad. A little bit, considering it's a tank. It's Even though it's a tank and should, should, probably should be slow. Oh my gosh, we almost, we're almost there. It's a random rock. We have, we've made it. The Hummer has gotten like three resets, two, three resets. Three resets, yeah. And taking a lot of damage. So no, it is not as good as you think it is. It is still an off-road king though. It smokes in off-road and off-roading. Durability, you never know. Could be a question. Cybertruck time. This is going to flip over. Look at it. It's already drifting. And we've only had our first turn. Rear wheel steering is not good for sharp turns. Even though it's drifting when it should not be. But it's also electric. So it's got a ton of horsepower. It's also in third gear, so it's... Uh, no! So, it's insanely quick. Yeah, putting in first gear tops it at... Because this is... 
the certain engine that we use for this truck, or I got it from some other guy, and you can pretty much, it makes it quiet and limits, like, kind of, you have to shift to make it go a certain speed. So at first gear, it goes 42. Second gear goes 86. And then first gear goes 130. Because that's the supposed top speed when really it goes like 114 because of the speed limiter. I'm also still swerving. We'll try to. Yeah. It's going well. I mean, you could probably do this. In, you can probably do this entire track in first person. No, you can't do this entire track in first person. That's a secondary set. This truck's about to do is worse than the Hummer. That would be a good test. Hummer versus Cybertruck instead of freaking what everyone's doing. Cybertruck versus, versus F-150. Like, come on. We need some Hummer stuff. You know, get, put shine some light on the Hummer. Maybe off-road test Cybertruck versus Hummer EV or just Hummer H2 versus Cybertruck, you know. I mean, the Hummer is like the all-purpose vehicle at this point. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. You can... This thing is so hard to drive with third gear. Which... The electric car shouldn't even have gears! It shouldn't even have gears in our electric cars. We get three resets. We're screwed. Yeah, we're still screwed. This thing's about to get five. It drifts. We're only in second gear. Get some grip. Oh my gosh. This thing has no grip. Thank you. Oh no. Okay, we're alive. We're doing this. Dang it, I'm gonna have to fix that stupid roof thing. You know, I probably could have put this in the in the original thing, because... Actually, this thing hasn't even flipped over. I just realized that. This truck hasn't flipped up! <laughs> the truck hasn't flipped over. It's just flown. <laughs> it's become the flyer... That's a bet. I'm not even gonna finish that pun. I'm gonna just cut my pun off there. But it has not flipped over, which is good. The Hummer has flipped over. This is not. It's just flown, and we're at four resets. So is it as good as the Hummer EV? Or the Hummer H2? No. Is it still good? Excuse me. Yeah. Never mind. It flipped over. Well, if you hit a bump at a certain speed, you're gone. That's just how it is. Five resets. That's just how it is now. So, so far, this truck has a total five resets. We've not had to reset on any other off-roading course, and we're on our last turn. I'm going to stay on the road because there's no bumps on the road, or try to, as this car starts to swerve. Please, please. A controller would be wonderful for this right now, but I don't use controller and brick rags. Stop it! Oh, no, I initiated a beautifully detailed windshield wiper. Isn't it wonderful? Anyway. Look at this. We did it. Or the Raptor does, though. Which, honestly, I like this Raptor. I am a big fan of this car. I think this is a more usable... Inter Every time, man! Every time I go into first person, it we fly off. It's also not very fast, for some reason. When it's a Raptor. Cut the track. That's fine. This is like a little set of extra off-roading. So, 150 Raptor, more maneuverable than a Hummer H2. It appears to be. It definitely is. This thing is smoking both those cars. Probably by a, not probably, by a ton, whole ton. Well, also looking very nice. This is the, but most of the, the Raptor parts from me. I designed it. I did the Raptor part. The base is... I suck at shouting out creators. I'm sorry. Better than the H2 and might just be like a top contender for like best trucks in Burke Rigs. And it's not because it's mine. It's just because it's good. I mean, look at this. It's doing wonderful. Well, still looking very nice. And look at that. Easy. Okay, right here we have four cars. We obviously have the main three, but this is the best off-roader I have. Now, this actually was in the Hummer and Jeep video, 
This is the Mercedes-Benz G63656, aka my dream car. This thing is an absolute beauty. Still customized by me a little bit, because I had to. This is the off-road king. I have I have done super good in off-roading with this car. And our plan is to go all the way up here, drive down here, and drive out this insanely, insanely steep road, or hill, mountain. This is about to go wrong. I don't think my 6x6 can do this. And this thing's really good. And I mean really good. I think. I, I, I honestly have no idea on all these cars. If they're good or not. So far, it's it's tied between the Hummer and uh, F-150. Oh, there goes the bumper. It's a little fast. Oh my god, this is huge. It looks so much bigger when you're in a car compared to free cam. Holy cow. This 6x6 can't even do it. I don't think it can do it. I hate to be that. I hate to be um, negative on this car, but yeah. No. No, uh, bro. No, uh. This ain't doing it. Oh! Mm! Oh, wow. This thing is. Okay, maybe this can do it. No, I don't think it can. It's really good at being bouncy. That's one thing it's really good at being super bouncy and having a ton of horsepower. Because this thing is flying. Look at look at this thing. It's just bouncing. Just bouncing, enjoying life. Oh, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Wait. If it can get enough traction and get and gain enough speed, it could do this. But it's losing a lot of speed right now. And every time you shift, it goes. Down. No! Wait. Wait, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Maybe. 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 Oh, my God. I'm letting it just, like, drive. Oh, my God. 360. No scope. We're screwed. Yep, we're flipping over. We're going to fly. Okay, here we go. Hit the brakes. And roll down. Come on, we got speed, we got speed, we got speed. No, we don't have speed, we don't have speed, we don't have speed, we don't have speed. No! No, 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 no. We might have went overboard. It can't do that. Who can make it the furthest might just have to be the thing. Because this is extreme off-road testing. So... Yeah, we're this is, we're screwed. We're Scrooge McDuck here. That was I don't know where that came from. I thought it was Scrooge, Scrooge mine reminded me of, or it sounded like a rhyme was screwed. So bad joke. I'm bad at that. Oh, up goes the Hummer, just completely destroying this very bumpy area here. I'm telling you, this thing's about to just roll and tumble down this mountain. You also can't see because it's literally just all dark in here. Wow, this thing is like doing it. it it's doing it. Look at this. Boom. Easy. Simple. We're done. We're gaining speed though, so that's nice. It appears that all this like dirt sand part is where you get your traction in this game. No! No, it's we're gonna lose. Oh, we haven't lost speed yet. We haven't lost speed yet. Levin we haven't lost... Levy also. Harry Potter. Ah! No! 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 Oh, no. I told you! Tumble! It's tumbling down. The Lon... The... The... American Jeep is falling down. I don't know. Or Hummer. My bad. Sorry. Is the, is the Hummer American or is it like... Is it American? Is it American? I don't know. We're also screwed right now. We have zero speed. But the Cybertruck might have an advantage because it isn't it's technically manual in the game, not in real life. Landed it! Easy nope, not easy. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, Hummer sucks. Hummer sucks. We're gonna it's I don't even know. It's going down. It gave up. Off we we're going down. So it appears the Hummer can't do it. 
If the Hummer can't do it, the Cybertruck can't do it. Actually, no. No, it probably can't do it either. But it has manual gears, so that could change. We're going to shift the first gear. We're going to watch the entire back bumper completely get shredded. Or, the entire oh, both bumpers get shredded. This car also, I don't think, is the best for flipping over. I don't know, it can, I don't think it can really roll over. That's going to be a thing. Well, hello, cavern thing. I don't, canyon, that's not a canyon. I don't know. This is, I'm just talking to talk. Fill in the dead space of in the absolute silence that this car makes. Because we're going insane. All right, shift second gear. We're shifting. All right, cyber truck, lose your bumpers. Let's go. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be slow, just so I don't kill the car right now. Oh, never mind. There's no point. We killed it. We destroyed the bumper. Yeah, the bumper's gone. go here we go we're going up but okay oh we're losing the we're losing the license plate wait wait can it oh no 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 i screwed it up i screwed it up i screwed it up <gasps> wait i didn't screw it up okay angles 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 no approach angle please that doesn't make any sense that i have the same thing oh my god it's doing the best it's done the best out of all the cars. And we're still going 20. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. This is crazy. So if you ever want to get up a steep hill, use the Cybertruck. Use it. Specifically the 1.7. Don't use it. If you're in 1.6, you're screwed. Because the one I've not updated the 1.61 one in forever. I'm just worrying about 1.7 at this point. That was not even supposed to be a pun. But. The only reason it did good was the manual gears. Which is not technically manual. But it is just because of the way the motor is. Which is not base motor. I got it from someone else who... Made, I got, got it from one of my friends on Steam. And he did it. I guess. I don't know. But it's quiet and has manual gears. I don't, don't. I still don't know how that works. But yeah, off we go. We're going. I can also set my thing to manual in my settings, but I didn't. Didn't do it. I didn't do it. Yeah. All right. Let's do. All right, Ford. All right, Raptor. Let's go. This is the truck. This is actually not the gas truck. I don't. The six by six is, but that's under a million dollars. <laughs> Probably this. Come on, okay. Oh, oh yeah. There's all parts from the cyber truck. I didn't, I didn't reset the cyber truck. Whatever. It it went up. So. Not gonna say anything right now. But if the F one fifty, it's not gonna make it. Wait, I know how. To, I know I've off roaded. I've done this stuff before. I know how to do it. You have to kind of do it at an angle. I don't think the angle's gonna matter though. It's not gonna matter. It's not gonna matter. We're just starting to fall. No! 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 Please! No! No! It's falling down. Oh. So, I guess that concludes this video. It has been 30. I've been recording for 30 minutes. So that definitely concludes this video. Um, this was absolutely great. Uh, the so it's all a tie at this point. They all got their point, so they're all good at one thing. Um, Hummer's good at light off roading, kind of like just not going up super steep hills or mountains like this. F one fifty is good at definitely good at off roading and maneuvering. A cyber truck is good at steep hills and cruising. So if you ever want to cruise in a pickup truck, this is probably the best one to do it. Because the manual gear type of thing. Um, So it's kind of a split thing. They all got their sh fair share of points. They're all good at one of these things. Um, 
Cybertruck's better at steep, being going over steep hills or mountains. I can't. I don't know. It's good at going over steep things. So, thanks for watching. YouTube's been a struggle sometimes. Just met motivation, but thanks for watching. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Um, I don't know what else to say, but drive. Oh God, I don't know. Drive safe.